Okay, let's find the good book. But what? What are you doing there? Actually, it's a good thing you were just chilling in my bookcase just there because I got some bang up news to tell you. Before I tell you, I'll turn on my lights and I've got to put these blinds up. Just do that here. In this vlog, I will be buying and setting up my dream gaming setup that I've been wanting for a very long time. So that's why you and me are gonna go on a shopping spree online to get my dream setup. And just to make things clear, everything in this video was paid by me from my pocket money, my own lawns, chores, and a lot of birthday money. This video was filmed over three months, so that's why my hair's a little bit short. Anyways, enough of this silly talk. Let's actually get into it. Ah! I'm tossing and turning between these two mouse options, the Pro X Superline. Weighing at only 63 grams, it is one of the best lightweight gaming mouses out there. But geez, this Pro X Superlight is gonna make my wallet super light. <laughs> Maybe if we just take off that two right there. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Sorry, D Pro Superlight, I'm not doing you. Let's go over to the glorious website. I'm gonna get a wireless because the less cables, the better. Bad cable management like this, this, this. <laughs> Why? You know what I mean? Like clean setups, like mm, mm, mm. chef's kiss. So we need to make sure it's clean. So what wireless mouse should I get? The Model O or the Model D? Also, I don't know if you know, but I got this bloody mouse, it's like RGB recently. Easy. It's very heavy. So I'm gonna be looking for lightweight mouses because it's annoying when I'm playing. It feels like I'm playing with a boulder. I'm doing the model O. It just feels small in the hand, which I want. I'm a kid, so I don't want like big chunky hands. Do I have a big chunky hand? I probably do have a big chunky hand. But my feet and my hands, they just grow and grow and grow. Like I'm big foot, but I'm not tall. I'm gonna get the model O minus. Like I said, I feel like I have small hands. And I'm getting white too, like some of my gaming set to be white. Because I actually got a razor keyboard. It's a black widow hyper speed like mini. So this app's gonna be white. I got it in my cart. So I'm just editing the video that you're watching right now. And I needed a screen record overlay for the Glorious website. So I open it and look what pops up. A bunch of new mice. The pro version, the better version. As soon as I order it, there's new options that just came in. This, bruh, I'm devastated. Oh, I'm so mad. Now let's get the keyboard. I got three options for my keyboard since it's very important how it sounds, which is keycaps. Everything's very important to me for a keyboard. These are my choices. Glorious, because I feel like this could be a good idea because it will match the mouse and everything. Logitech, what the heck is this? This looks like the ad for, what's it called again? Grubhub, yeah. It looks like the ad for Grubhub. Logitech's like living in the future. Look at this stuff. They have like flight console things and driving wheels for games and farm. Let's look at our gaming keyboards. They have nice white ones, but I don't know if I'm a, a softy boy, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go with like a nicer white one. No, a Legends, are you a type of pop keys person? Like, do you like those type of pop keys things? Cause I am like the opposite. I couldn't like stand having circular keys. I thought like that would <laughs> me. I hate that stuff. When I'm buying myself a gaming keyboard, I go for 75% or less. I could never do a full size because they're too chunky. Like, right now I have a Logitech office keyboard. When I'm gaming, my mouse keeps knocking against my keyboard. You feel me? You feel me? Out of the three I've seen so far, we're gonna get Logitech now. Sorry, Logitech. Comment down below if I should save up for a Logitech setup. Because I really do want the Logitech Super Light, but I'm gonna try and ask for it for Christmas. Even though it's a lot of money. <laughs> Let's go, gaming gear. A lot of people like this lighting with the sticks. Do you reckon that looks like clutter? Or do you actually like that? Here's a white keyboard. This looks nice. I've got to say, Costa is probably not my favorite brand. I gave my old mouse Naz, since she had a Microsoft Office mouse that right. I've used before, and I gave her my Corsair one. It's an iron claw. We're gonna get Corsair out of the mix, and we're gonna go ahead with Glorious, since they have customizable keyboards. And you know me, ladies, we're not gonna go for those options. We go for the pro, because we are pro gamers. Okay, Y option. I'm gonna customize the Zen. It makes me feel like it's more of my thing. So let's go. And I'm gonna get lubed, glorious panda linces. They're linear, they're not as tactile, they're not as loud and clicky. You gotta sneak games at 3 a.m. with loud clicky keyboards. This is kind of like loud too. Mum will be able to know. Okay, Mum? Don't suss me out. Don't. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're gonna get lubed. <laughs> I'm willing to pay $104 instead of $74 because it's lubed. Sounds heaps better, trust me. 
If you have that extra money, you should definitely go for it. Now tell me what keycaps you like best, Legends. Aura keycaps make everything like light up more, so more RGB. So this is only $34, when these ones are actually more expensive. Next, the top frames, let's see, what do you like? Aqua blue, I'm just gonna go with E-white. Then I'm gonna go electric blue, and I'm gonna also go back to my Rotary knobs and change it to blue as well. Summary, this is a pretty pricey keyboard. But Legends, I did get this for my own money, as I can say. Good, and I've been mowing people's lawns for like 50 bucks, which is great too. So let's get a keyboard mount. Here's how it's gonna look. Biggie Gaming Nice Nuts. I made all of our hexagons, I'm actually really proud of it. I'm definitely submitting it. I'd be crazy if I didn't. Oh my goodness, that looks great. Oh. Now I gotta pay for it. 10 minutes later. Okay, we got it. Wait, wait, no, don't click on yet, because we still gotta set it up, which is the best part. But while I wait for my gaming gear to appear, let's eat lunch right now. Everybody's hungry now. I could have cereal. Nah, that's a breakfast item. Or maybe, I got an idea. Most of the stuff we have in our pantry is very healthy. So I just can't make the most of what I got. ASMR sound. I love when me, Sabre, and um, Naz, we're going surfing. Woohoo! It's a pretty long walk, to be honest. I kind of feel like someone's gonna get a bad, like, wetsuit rash, probably like behind my knees or under my arms. That's where I normally get it. Or oh, my neck. Oh, getting closer to the beach. Let's go. Okay, let's follow Sabre out there. It's pretty small today. Oh, we'll catch some good ones. Get my leggy on. Hey, look at that one. We just met some big legends out in the surf. Getting some waves, guys. Yeah. yeah. Off into the surf. Now let's go home. How's that, guys? Great. Yeah, you. It's two months later. All my stuff is here. I've already unboxed two things. And the sound was off on my camera. Gosh, there was so much I said too. Like how I have two extra things. Keyboard display. And this here is my mouse mat. It's a bummer, I know, but at least I still got a bunch of things to go. Like I gotta assemble my custom keyboard. Look how excited my face was here. Turns out something went horribly wrong. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm so devastated. Ugh. In here is my keyboard, my wireless mouse, all my switches and everything I need to assemble my custom keyboard. And I got this ship from America, so it took a long time. First I'm gonna show you my Model O Wireless. Oh! Oops, let's open this bad boy up. Ladies and gentlemen, the Model O Wireless. Oh, oh my goodness, it's so sick. Look at it with the RGB legends. This is sweet as. The mouse is a success. Now let's see about our keyboard. Wow, the GMMK Pro. Look at this! There's my cord. Now I need to look up a YouTube video on how to assemble, because I have a feeling it's not gonna be easy. Turns out it wasn't easy. For my switches, I chose Glorious Links. Like that, okay, this is easy, I'm on a roll. This is what I've done so far, it's looking great. We did it! Now it's time for my keycaps. That's like crazy good. I'm gonna see you after I put all these keycaps on since it's gonna take a while. I thought everything was gonna go to plan. I was gonna put the keycaps on, do a sound test, and end the video. But if you've watched this for a long time, you would know that Norison's videos don't always go to plan. After all this, the space bar is sticking. Look. This is terrible. I know to a lot of people it might not seem like a big deal, but do know I spent $500 of my own money on this keyboard and it was extremely disappointing. I did some research to see if I could fix it. And what happened was the people assembled my stabilizers, lubed them, but lubed them way too much so it was super sticky. And every single time I pressed down on a key, it would stick. This is gonna be so hard to fix. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm so devastated. I spent like $600 on this thing. My own pocket money. And now it's not even going to work? I wasn't just going to sit around for the whole time cursing this keyboard, even though I really wanted to. And I knew I had to fix it. Turns out I need to do this whole thing again. See when it's done, if it's done. I had to flip the keyboard over, take out all the screws. Go Jake, open the entire keyboard up. I just finished it, Legends. I fixed it, I guess. Kind of. Now we're going to move this onto my desk. Catch me knuckles! Nora Snaps Fashion. We designed this with passion. Nora Snaps Fashion. fashion.